Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. A quick video on Selenium that uh, people are struggling. If you ha don't have any Maven project and you really want to add the jar files of the latest Selenium project or Selenium Java language binding in your Eclipse, how will you do that? If you're not using the concept of format XML file or Maven, generally we use that and it is always the preferable method uh, to add the dependency in your format XML file or gradle build.xml file and get the selenium jar file on runtime and then and then start using it but uh, if you are not using it that's perfectly okay without that also externally you can download and externally you can add in your project in your simple java project also you can do that sometimes what happens that okay you are not able to create a proper maven project or maven is giving some error or something like this and then you got stuck and you are totally uh, block to practice on your selenium uh, practices so let's see how to do that so just to unblock you a couple of people they mailed me and in telegram group also people were asking so what you have to do uh, is that first you have to create a simple java project not the maven project so i hope you have eclipse and java installed on your system and then you simple go to uh, file new java project so um, let's create a simple i'm going to create selenium sample whatever that project name that you want to give Select the JRE from like from here, Java SE 1.8. Click on next. This is not the Maven project and you just need to click on finish. And you can see Selenium sample project got created over here. And it's a typical project having one SRC and then JRE system library where all the Java libraries jar file got added over here. Now we have to download the Selenium jar files. So how will you download? Always recommend the official documentation of Selenium. So what do you have to do? You simple search for Selenium Dev over here and you can see Selenium Dev. Selenium.dev is the official website from Selenium. You click on downloads over here. And when you click on, they have given all the downloads option. You can download Selenium Grid. You can download the Internet Explorer driver and different types of uh, Selenium language bindings are available. So we are using Selenium with Java. The latest stabled version is this and the latest beta version is this. So they recently updated in uh, April 13, 2021. So let's uh, download this. Okay. And then you can see that it will give you one zip file over here. Okay. So in this particular zip file, it's got, it got downloaded under my download folder that uh, it's already available in my system. Actually, let me uh, delete the previous one and you just unzip it in your C drive or D drive and anywhere. You have to unzip means you have to extract it and you can see that there is a, a folder got created. Just open that folder and there are two important jar files you will see. Client combine something like this over here dot jar and sources dot jar and under lips you will see multiple jars over here as well. Okay, so these are the important jar files are available over here. Another thing is that you simple click on this download second download over here as well and then again it will give you one zip file and then i'll tell you the difference between these two zip files so let's go to downloads and here you will see this was the 3.141.59 and this was a 4.0 beta 3 now you got it so when you click on this download it will give you the the latest stable version and when you click on the second download it will give you the latest beta version now it's up to you which one you want to use so for example, let's say I want to use the 4.0.0 beta 3. So again, I'm going to unzip it and you can see now we will see the difference between these two guys. So I'll just open this 4.0 and in 4.0, you can see there's so many jar files got added over here and there are so many under lips also, there are multiple jar files that are available because in 4.0, they have made a lot of changes with respect to, you can see these are the dev tools, uh, jars are available. A lot of changes they have done with respect to Chrome dev tools. Uh, libraries they have created and all such things according to the different version you can see that uh, 85 88 89 90 and all such things okay so you don't need to worry about it so let's do one thing let's take the latest 4.0 beta 3 i got my jar file you can keep them in c drive or d drive or anywhere now what you have to you have to right click on your project and go to properties and go to java build path okay because we have to set up the java build path over here that what kind of external libraries you are going to use and then you click on libraries over here when you click on libraries here you will see already jre system library is already available over here right so what you do 
you simply click on add external jars over here and then you go to your downloads go to that particular folder that you have already extracted it and select all these jar jar means java archival files and these are the bundle files are available where all the selenium java libraries are available inside these jar files all methods classes interfaces whatever they have created are they have bundled them together created multiple jars and they have given to us so add all these jars and click on open over here okay so you can see that jar files got added and then again you click on add external jars why i'm calling external jars because they are coming from third party they are not part of jdk so jdk jars will be called internal jars and selenium test ng all such things will be called external jars now you click on lib folder also under lib they have multiple libraries select all okay like this and then click on open now you will see all the different jar files got added under your java build path over here now sometime what happens you will see two folders over here okay one is the module path and one is the class path so under the class path guys you have to add all these jar files i'll show you also in some time and then you simply click on apply and close and then you will see that reference libraries got added over here there are so many reference libraries mean these are the external jar files got added now along with that you have what you have a jre system library it means you can write the java code and with the, these libraries selenium libraries you can write your selenium code as well now i quickly create a simple selenium project sorry selenium class so let's create a first a package over here and i simply write let's like, say selenium demo this is a project that sorry package i have created right click on it and let's create a new class over here and let's see i'm simply creating my selenium or i simply say that okay let's see this is my browser launch select the main method and now all the java concepts and everything will remain same over here i hope you can see the code now now what is the first thing that you have to do you have to let's see i want to launch google chrome you have to download one binary file which will behave like a a server because see what happens whenever you are interacting with the a browser we need one intermediate server so selenium will provide one chrome driver.exe also which is provided by actually google and then selenium says that okay when you really want to interact with the browser you have to interact with the server server will handle all the request in the response and then we will perform some action on the browser so how to do that and you simply click on download simple write chrome driver that's it and then chrome driver as i told you provided by google not by selenium that's why it's chrome driver chromium.org there is a separate chromium team there in google you simply click on it and then it depends what kind of version that you are using for chrome so let's see if you are using chrome version 90 it's saying please download this one so please check your what is the version of the browser that you are using it for example let's see my browser version is about chrome i am using 90 so it means i can use this also or i can use this also if i am using 91 it is always backward compatible so let's see for the safer side i'll just going to download this chrome driver 90 so just simply click on it and then it will tell you that okay yeah what kind of laptop or operating system that you have if you have linux mac 64 or m1 chip and 32 bit windows so this will work for 32 bit and 64 bit also nothing to worry i am using macbook you are using windows 30 32 bit i am going to just simply click on this and this is a simple zip file around 10 or around 8 or 10 mb will be there and i'll just go to my downloads once again okay see this this is the zip file and i just need to extract it once again so actually this chrome driver is already available in my system you can see that that's why it's showing two over here so let me just delete the previous one and then rename it back to chrome driver only so this is the exe file guys remember so you can see unix executable file okay in this windows also it will be dot exe file that you have to use it now how will you use it what we have to we have to start the server so how will you start it we have to set a property over here with the help of system class system dot what is the key the key you have to write remember this key people might ask you at time of interview also web driver dot chrome dot driver is the key and then what exactly the value the value is that the path of that exe file that you have downloaded so we have to give the path you can keep this particular file in your c drive d drive any folder but make sure guys first you are extracting it and then 
in a normal folder just keep it somewhere in c drive or d drive or desktop and then get the path from there so for example let's see and everything is in a small letter chrome drive so if you are using windows machine you have to use a dot exe if you are using linux or mac machine you don't need to write dot exe because dot exe is not supported in mac that's the only small change and uh, you have to do in windows so i'll just write it for you guys for windows what you have to do it will be like this let's say you are in c drive and then instead of one single forward slash you have to use two backslash over here for example you have written in under users under downloads and then this chrome driver and you have to write dot exe over here so this is for i would say windows and this is for mac or linux if you are using it so right now i'm using mac machine so i'm not going to just use this i'm going to comment it out simple this line is compulsory guys otherwise server will not start and then you cannot interact with the browser now what is the first thing we have to write a simple write casting over here web driver is equal to new chrome driver chrome driver is a class web driver is an interface so we are writing our first basic script and then you can simple write okay and then you simple say the driver dot get method you have to write and then what is the url so before that what happens sometimes automatically imports will be there and the chrome driver also you just mouse over it will give you import so these imports are coming because of the external jars that you have added so simple click on this and click on uh, mouse over on web driver and then import the selenium web driver also and after that whatever the url that you want to launch so for example let's see any url i want to launch www dot amazon dot com okay and after that i want to get the title of the page system dot out dot printlin driver dot get title of the page and then after that i want to close my window so i simple write driver dot quit to close the browser and then let's see right click on it and run as java application and then you can see on the console the first time it's saying especially on mac machine it's saying that chrome driver cannot be opened because the driver cannot be verified so in mac we have a very strong security it's saying that okay this is a free malware you can dot exe file that you are using it it could be a a security threat for this mac so what exactly just click on cancel this is the only one time activity you have to do you have to go to if you are using mac machine just go to this a uh, mac and go to system preferences and go to your security section over here security and privacy okay and uh, click on general and then you have to allow anyway see chrome driver was blocked now you have to allow it click on allow anyway and that's it and then you run your code once again so run that is only one time activity in mac you have to do it in windows you don't need to do anything like that and you simply click on open and then you can see the browser is getting open amazon is getting launched and then we are getting a title on the page now some of the people they get confused that we are getting some error red line error see every red line is not the error these are the logs are coming from chrome driver you can see chrome driver started uh, successfully some important uh, security consideration links also they have given and it's saying that okay we are starting the google chrome driver 90th version that we are launching it we are using w3c uh, protocols over here and then the chrome driver launched successfully so these are the information logs guys okay so don't worry that okay these are the errors or something these are not the errors and i'm getting a title on the page and the browser is automatically closed after that so this is the very first program that you have written with the help of latest version of selenium without maven by by but by adding the external jars in your project right and one small thing i'll just tell you if you really want to know what exactly is happening in the background what kind of request what kind of desired capabilities json objects are getting passed between client and the server in the form of request and response if you really want some verbose logs verbose means more and more information in terms of logs if you really want to use it i simple write one more property over here system dot set property that you have to use i have written somewhere over here and the property name you have to use you simple write web driver dot chrome dot verbose logging this is the key that you have to use and the value will be true over here okay so system dot set property i have used now let's run it and let's see the console output you will get much more better uh see the browser is getting launched and it will tell you each and every information about between the server and the client 
is happening on the console it's launching google chrome and everything amazon and everything you're getting a title but you see the console output now it's uh, more verbose what kind of call what kind of desired capabilities what kind of information json payload everything that we are passing internally everything is coming over here like that see this is the base url that you are passing okay and so that's a good information if you really want to print on the console that you can uh, do it by passing this particular system property that is web driver chrome verbose logging true okay so that's all for this particular video guys it's very very simple exactly same thing you do it in maven uh, with the help of maven so for maven i've already prepared a video you can refer i can share the link in the description box maven is a more preferable way but if you are facing any problem with the maven you want to add external jars you can use it like this and you can start practicing like this and now for any other concept you just keep creating a classes over here in this project uh, in this particular package and then start practicing for further uh, topics from the channel you can refer it so that's all for this particular video guys i hope it's clear now let me know if you are facing any issue and uh, thank you so much for watching the automation labs i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all